What's up, everybody? Paul Hickey here. Welcome to the WordPress show. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a simple membership website using WordPress. Let's get right into it. So we're going to use a plugin called WP Simple Membership Plugin. And I'm going to show you how to get this installed on your WordPress website and how to set it up. So you can see I already have it installed here. And the way that I installed it was I just went to plugins and I searched for WP Simple Membership. And you can search for plugins in the plugin directory. And right here, you can see that it's active. It might not be active on your website, obviously, because you're watching this video, but you could click Install Now. Then once it says uh, that it's installed, this button will change to Activate, and you click Activate. So once it's activated, you can go down and you'll see it here, WP Membership. And when you go to Settings, it's going to generate some pages for you automatically in terms of the login page, the registration page, the join page, the member profile page, and the password reset page. You can click Save Changes and it'll actually save those pages for you. Now I've got free membership enabled, but you can also do paid membership by going to Payment Settings and integrating with a payment gateway like Stripe, for example, and you can generate your uh, your publishable key and your secret key from the back end of your Stripe account, or you can use PayPal, and it'll allow you to customize some email settings to your members for when they register and when they reset their password and all that good stuff. And uh, I'm going to show you how to basically password protect the pages here. So in order to password protect the pages, um, you have to first create a membership level. So I've got a membership level created for an event here called Event 2020. You can have as many membership levels as you want by creating Add Level. So you can have a premium membership, you can have a gold membership, you can have a standard membership, and you can have a free membership. And if you wanna charge them all different amounts, you can do that. And then you can password protect different um, pages individually and different posts individually based on the membership level. That's a good thing about the simple membership plugin and not to mention the fact that it's free. So this, this page right here explains how to do that. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. You can also do category protection. So if you have a category of posts, for example, that is for your platinum membership or your advanced membership or your standard membership or your free membership, you can name them um, accordingly. And then when you create the membership level, you can assign the membership level to the category. And you can also do it on a post and page basis. So this is a very, very dynamic plugin, very useful. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you right now, if you're not logged in right here in this other window, this Safari window, you can see that I am not logged in. Um, I'm not able to access the agenda page because it says um, you need to log in to view this content, please log in or not a member join us. And if you click log in, it takes you to the member login page. I don't have the main page password protected and I'm gonna show you how to do that here. So you go to pages and you would find the main page, the front page, open it. You'd scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see the WP simple membership protection settings. And you can say yes, protect this content in the event 2020 membership and then update. And I'm gonna go in and do this on all my pages after I finish filming this video for you guys. Now, when I refresh, you should see on the main page that it's gonna say, you need to log in to view this content, please log in. This is how to create a simple membership website in WordPress. Very, very easy to do. I hope this tip has helped you out. Thanks for watching the WordPress show. I'm Paul Hickey, CEO of Data Driven Design. Check out more content at datadriven.design or email me directly at paul at datadriven.design if you'd like to do business with me. Thanks again for watching the WordPress show. Have a great day.